Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, first of all, happy Easter. Hope you guys are enjoying your Easter. <clears throat> Sat down today at the bench and wanted to share what I picked up over the weekend in the way of stash ads. Uh, but before we get to that, let me tell you, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, if you're first time checking in, we hope you like what you see. If you do, how about give us a big old thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment down there in the comment section. And of course, a subscribe is always nice. Doesn't cost anything, and we appreciate it. Uh, to all the return viewers, guys and gals, we appreciate you guys so, so much. But, yep, today is going to be another stash ad video. I realize I just did a stash ad video, but uh, this guy, this local guy, was selling a bunch of stuff, and I ended up going back up there Friday and picking up more stuff, and then actually went to a buddy's of mine on Saturday and picked up some more stuff. So I just... Easter's been a windfall for me. I've been lucky enough to get some really, really good deals on some really, really cool kits. Uh, some of them are more harder to find than others, and some of them are just plain old cool. But before we get to all that, and we switch the camera around to where you can see from the top, and that way there you get to see everything a little bit better than just kind of holding it up, let's uh, go check out our sponsor, ScaleFinishes.com and Iceman Collections. We'll be right back. and welcome back always good to hear from those guys and today we'll have a special update on our awesome sponsor uh, icemancollections.com today's the last day of the month so starting april 1st uh, we have a new discount code for iceman collections so go to icemancollections.com load up your cart with all of his 3d printed awesomeness when you get to your cart scroll to the bottom and at the bottom Put in Outlaw10, which is our old uh, discount code, but this time you're going to put in Outlaw10More. That's Outlaw10More. Uh, as of April 1st, that'll be our new discount code for IcemanCollections.com. Same old, same old with our buddies over at Scale Finishes. ScaleFinishes.com, all your paint supply needs. Load up your cart, scroll to the bottom, and discount code is OUTLAW10, that's OUTLAW in capital letters, and the number 10 gets you a 10% discount, save money at both of those awesome locations, and uh, show some support to those guys, and let them know that you're an OUTLAW fan. Alright, so in no particular order, we're going to get after this new stash ad. I'm not going to open up the boxes. Uh, most of this stuff is here. Some of it's been opened. Uh, some of it's even the bags have been opened. But I've gone through everything. And uh, it's all there. Uh, but at some level or another, some of it's been started and some of it hasn't. But for the most part, it's all fresh kits that need to be built. First up, 1968 Pro Street Roadrunner. Roadrunner is going to be a theme as you... Uh, watch this video because there's a few of them that pop up but what i liked about this one is i love the uh license plate tag why i work thought that was pretty funny i'm not going to get in too detail with too many of them because you know we got a bunch to show you and we don't want to be here all day but the 57 ford gasser two in one really cool looking kid i love that gold color and that 70s looking 60s 70s looking uh, graphics on it The Budweiser Motocraft Pro Stock T-Bird to Frank Ikeonos. I never pronounced that right, but y'all would probably correct me in the comments. There's his car. Seventy Pro Street Coronet Super B. Like I said, some of these kits they're not all that hard to find. They're not rare, but I uh, got a super good deal on them. Met a guy through uh, my local marketplace, and he was selling out his stock and. Well, we ended up with most of it. The Revell Demon. It's actually the Revell model, so it was sponsored by Revell Models, which is pretty cool. The Super Clean Olds. Uh, I know that the Warren Johnson version of this, I understand, is pretty difficult to find. I think if you get the decals, you could probably do this one up. I could do this one up as the Warren Johnson car, and it'd be the same kit. 
But Larry Morgan, super clean, old Pro Street. No, Pro Stock. Yeah, Pro Stock, not Pro Street. The Midnight Cowboy. This one has a very bad reputation, I think. <laughs> Something about the way this front nose piece fits on there, I guess, is somewhat difficult. I got in my mind, and that's a long way down the road before I get to it, but I got an idea of maybe putting a different cab on it. Because I'm not real crazy about that whole nose. If it's going to be a Peterbilt or a big truck, it needs to be a big truck, not a Chevrolet with a morphed-in thing. But we'll see. But the Midnight Cowboy Custom Chevy Wrecker. And there they go, falling off. The OG Badman. This one, this one's pretty cool, guys. This is the original, original one molded in yellow. Uh, I'm going to guess from the 80s. 80, it says, no, 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 73 and up, copyright 69 and 73 monogram model, so it's been around a minute, it's the OG, they've repopped this car several times, but that's the original. The Street Shaker 64 Chevy Impala, pretty cool looking car, I had not seen this one before, so that's why I grabbed it in the list honestly i bought just kind of like a bulk of what he had and it was such a good deal on everything a 67 ford xl pretty cool looking car it kind of puts me in the mind of an old nascar but there's some custom by george barris it says so we can do a couple different things with it see what happens when we get there a 65 galaxy 500 Somebody wrote on the box, put a big X on it, but it's all there. Cool looking car. Again, I hadn't seen this one before, so I grabbed it. It says it can be a convertible as well. That's pretty cool. Got something different, completely different. I got, this isn't old or rare or nothing, but a metal trailer. It's all there. Uh, pretty detailed. I mean, as far as it looks detailed, it ain't much to put it together. You just put the ramps and the wheels and the axles on it and away you go, but... It'll look good pulling one of the dirt modifieds around somewhere. I got a couple of these kits, both sealed. The 63 Studebaker Avante. I was talking about it in one of the lives, and I think we all agreed it's probably one of the ugliest cars ever made. That front clip on that thing is horrible. But I understand, and I don't know nothing about them, but I understand that they were pretty quick for what they were. So we'll have to crack it open. I'm sure I'll have to modify it some kind of way, do something with it, make it look different. But we got two of those still wrapped. Challenger RT, the 1970 Challenger RT. This particular kit has the vinyl top that you can put on, or it comes the body is actually a convertible if you look at it you know, right out of the box. Doesn't have a top on it. But it's my understanding that trying to put that vinyl top on it and get it square and, and looking right is next to impossible. So we'll probably build that one as a convertible. Love that plum crazy purple, man. That's such a pretty color. Oh, AMT 67 Mercury Comet. Cool car. Nothing too extravagant about it, but it's still a really nice car. Be a fun build. Put that one in the old Ford section. Again, not a hard one to find, but a cool one. The Surfshark 59 Cadillac Ambulance. I really didn't have a whole lot of interest in these until I saw King Bob do his, and he did it as a Hearst. It looked really, really cool. And I also thought about doing something along the lines of the Mad Max thing, where they had the other body and the new Mad Max, or say new Mad Max, the, the re-release. Where they had another body up here and it was a big four-wheel drive. Might do something like that. That'd be pretty cool and different. And maybe one that I'll build right out of the box. The 70 Plymouth Superbird. That, to me, is one of the most beautiful cars ever made. I know it's not practical with that front end and it was good for going fast. But, man, what a beautiful car. What a beautiful car. 
That one's definitely worthy of being built right out of the box, just like that. Maybe change the blue to a, a Hemi orange. I probably would do that because, you know me, I'm an orange guy. 53 Starliner Coupe. I had one of these back in the day and built it up. This one's cool because it comes with that twin blower, what do they call it, the pyramid double blower manifold. So it's got a double blower on it with a pier that looks like a pyramid. So it's pretty cool looking, pretty cool looking setup. Not again, not a hard car to find, but fun car. Some of y'all might remember this if you've been following along for a while. This is the exact same car that I did for Adam over at Sodak Models for the naked car build or naked model build. I built this car because it had the metal red glow uh, plastic. You know what? I don't think I've opened this one yet. Oh, yeah, still in the bags. So it has a really cool plastic, and when you polish it up, it does look like paint. So we chose this one to uh, build this one to put it in the, in that Naked Models build. So now we can add this back to our shelf if we want to build another one. 70 Plymouth AAR Cuda. If you guys hadn't checked by now or hadn't figured it out by now, I am definitely a Mopar guy. Uh, when it comes to muscle cars, that's my that's my go-to. Love me some Mopars. But that's a good-looking car. I love that green, too. All the Mopar colors back then were so loud and proud. Gotta love it. All right, all right, all right. A non-Mopar. The Stacy David 32 Ford Rat Roadster. Cool-looking car. I've not built this car before. I've seen it a few times. Somebody built one online and i've been racking my brain trying to remember who it was but i can't remember and they did a really good job with it uh with the stacy david kit it comes with some different parts and pieces um that you can either can put on can don't have to put on but look at that motor dude that is a mean looking motor yeah here's one that's out of our wheelhouse the porsche diesel farm tractor now you ask, what do I want to do a farm tractor for? Well, I'm not doing the standard farm tractor. Again, I don't know who it's their name, but there was a guy online that customized one of these and made it look somewhere between a tractor and a hot rod and like a forward. I mean, this thing was beast looking. So I'm probably going to steal his idea or uh, take from his idea. Get, get inspired from his idea is what I'm going to do and uh, uh go ahead and build that one on up, up like that so that's a pretty cool old tractor and here's one that just got re-released but this is the og uh this is one of the few that have been started and has not started very well uh, so i'm gonna have to soak it i'll probably freeze it and try and break off or get take off not break off michael take off as many of the pieces that have been put together as possible drop it off at the old purple pond and get it as close back to, you know, kit form as possible and go from there. But they repopped another one. So if need be, I can maybe rob parts out of that other kit that I can then maybe use the body or maybe even use this body and put it on like a, a monster truck or something. But I saw it, it was there and it was cheap, so I grabbed it. Now a couple of the kits that we picked up, we know we're going to get shipped to somebody else because they asked about them and i'm not sure how much of this you can see yep you can see it all this trailer uh we picked up is we'll be going to glenn's at glenn's eclectic world or not glenn um yeah bruce's eclectic world glenn's eclectic world i'm getting the names mixed up now but it's going to him and he's going to get this one it'll be his uh he and i have talked on behind the scenes and he really was looking for this trailer and another kit that we have in the stash that i didn't take down oh here it is this is another kit that will be going to him uh this is the 49 mark i actually this this one I, I guess it came out in two different boxes because i have this one in the flatter longer box so i didn't need two of them and actually i got like three or four 49s just one like this but so that one will be going to him as well which is a really cool kit uh, this one, I believe, is all right still in the bags. Yeah, it's all there. Super cool. Everybody builds the 49s, but 
I'm liking them Hudsons, man. I like building those. They're fun. All right. Got another big one coming up. This one is a monster. I'm not real big on the European style trucks. However, that boom is really cool. And it's all there. So it may be that I put this wrecker bed on one of my other big trucks. And maybe just keep that one for parts or get rid of it or trade it off to somebody who likes the European ones. But I'm not a big fan of them European trucks. Old school, baby. I drove them Peterbilts and Kenworths. I like them. All right. Now you made it this far. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. We got one more big one. The Flying Bricks. <laughs> them big old Thunderbirds from back in the day. And the phone goes off again. But these are pretty cool. They're both there. Uh, all there ain't much to them. They're NASCAR kits, so you know there ain't a whole lot to them. But pretty cool. Not not um, not hard to find, but not easy to find kit. And we'll add it to our collection of NASCAR stuff. Cause you know me, I'm always going to pick up NASCAR stuff. All right. No, we're not done. No, we're not done at all. I did save. I guess what you'd call the best for last. The Sox and Martin Boss Cuda. Still wrapped. Johan kit. Still wrapped. Somebody paid $10.99 for it. I might have paid close to that for it. But super cool kit. Didn't have one. Added that one to the collection. We had one of these, but we had to add another one. This one, the other one that we have is not sealed. This one is sealed. So we'll put this up on the old shelf. And uh, this is an older kit from Johan. It's when Severe, Seville owned them. So uh, it's not a rare kit by any means. It's out there, but still cool stuff, man. Even though they got bought out by somebody else, Johan did. It doesn't mean that they use the same molds and stuff. It's really cool. The Dragon Lady. I got one of these. I already had one of these. And then I sent Jason Hanscom from Blue Ox Models. I sent him one here a few months ago. And maybe one day he and I can get together and do a buddy build on it. Or uh, we're supposed to do a buddy build on another kit. But I picked this one up just because you never know. The price was right. And I had to have it. So uh, there it is. The 69 AMX Super Stalker. Two things. It's racing and it's an AMX. An AMC car. So you know I'm going to be interested. And, like I said, Roadrunners and Mopars are a big part of this uh, haul. But there's another 69 Roadrunner. If you remember on my last video, I had found one. Same guy. He has this one. In fact, he has one more that I'm trying to get. And I might be able to get it. He says he's not sure if he wants to keep it or not. But So this one's all here. It has been opened up. I think it, you know, it hasn't been started. But it's been opened up. But it's all there. We went through that one. The other one, when we went through it, we did find out the chrome tree was missing. And he's looking for that for me to see if he can find it. Oh, not yet. Not that one yet. Hang on, we'll go with this one. The 74 Super Stock from Johan. This kit is got a barcode, so it's not, you know, super old. But again, I don't buy them for their value. I buy them because I think they're cool and I want to build them. The grill on these looks very similar to a Dart, and I'm a huge, huge, huge 65 Dart uh, GT fan. I think there's a company out there that makes a resin Dart, and I'm going to try to get it, but 64 Dodge Superstock. And here's a couple of them that you probably wouldn't think I would have because, well, that one's a GM. Not a big fan of GMs, but that's just a cool car. The 442 is always a nice car, the gentleman's hot rod, if you will. Uh, the Oldsmobile Bubble 1970-442, I believe in 70, it was four-speed, four-barrel dual exhaust. If I'm wrong, correct me, but uh, I know some people said it was the 400 four-speed dual exhaust. Could be wrong. If you know, leave me a comment down there in the old comment section. Where would that be? It'd be over here somewhere. We're getting there, guys. I know this is a heck of a long stash video, but we're getting there. We're getting to the end. The El Dorado. 
Don't ask me why I bought a Cadillac. I didn't buy this one, to be completely honest. He threw it in just because I was buying so much stuff, and it was left on his shelf. I don't think he wanted it either. I'm not mad at it. It's a cool car. It's just not something that I would have normally been in my wheelhouse, but we got it now. <laughs> we'll see what we can do with it. Maybe uh, maybe try our hand at that lowrider stuff like Leon and them do out, out there in uh, the West Coast. Maybe I can make a lowrider or something out of it. We'll try. We'll see what happens. Most likely it'll sit on the shelf for too long. All right. 1971 Cuda from Testers. These are Testers kits. I actually have another one of these already. These were unique because they came with metal wheels. The metal wheels, honestly, look horrible. They really do. <laughs> if I was to build it, I probably would not. No, I definitely would not use the metal wheels. But it, it makes them different than normal so we have it it's there i just it's a johan kit wrapped in tester stuff so it's a cool looking 71 barracuda and we all know 71 is a good year because that's the year i was born and we're getting there guys we're getting there 69. i believe that one is a 69 cooter <laughs> to quote fa fa that's a cooter uh the mad mackerel Cool looking kid. I hadn't seen this one. That's why I picked it up. It's got a mid-engine Hemi. It sits in the middle of the car. Pretty cool. Or it can, I guess. But it's an AMT kit. Blower on backwards. Pretty cool stuff. We'll figure that one out when we get to it. Two more, guys. Just two more. And girls. There's guys and girls. There's just two more. The 59 Ford Fairlane 500 Skyliner with a retractable top. This one's going to be difficult. This, these, It's a multi-piece body. The body comes in pieces and the top goes on. And if I understand it correctly, will actually fold into the trunk as the model. It'll fold into the trunk. And I got a funny feeling that there's going to be some pivot points there and some things there that's going to make it a very, very fun one to build. So probably won't do a whole lot of customizing on this one. Uh, probably be lucky to be able to get it done box stock following the directions. All right, so here we are. The last but not least, I saved this one for last because it's a really cool kit. The Johan 64 Dodge full drag kit build either version you can build the original super stock or the funny car really really cool kit uh not somewhat rare but not you know diamond in a goat butt rare but it's uh it's a hard one to find so there we are guys probably the longest stash ad that we've ever done i hope you stayed till the end if you didn't i almost can't blame you because it looks like Oh, wait, wait, almost forgot. We got these guys too. Got a 57 Ford Snap Tight. Got the Davy Allison Snap Tight Thunder Chicken. And the Mr. Richard Petty Snap Tight Grand Prix. Gotta love the most Snap Tight kits. If you get bored or you get into a slump, you put one of those together, you can feel good. You got it done and took you a day. <laughs> All right, guys, again, we appreciate you tuning in, checking us out. Hope you enjoyed the video. We are going to put all these kits away now and try to get back to the 54. I have made some progress on the 54. I will have an update on it soon. I've got a lot of loose ends that I'm trying to tie together. So when I bring you the uh, video, uh, we'll have all the loose ends tied up and then it'll all come together and make some make a good make a good video for you. Again, y'all enjoy your Easter Sunday. Sorry if I've kept you away from the goodies and the chocolate too long. Get back to your families. Enjoy yourself. As always, be kind to others. Be safe. And keep on modeling.